I'm going to interrupt. I have to interrupt. Contract contract come on, bro. Bain. No, because you, you, you you're use... taking the piss now. It's not. No, I, I don't we, think we that's cruel. We can talk about mutilations disagree. that happen in the dairy industry. I disagree. Industry. I disagree that that's cruel. That's ridiculous. Why? That's an insane position, dude. I mean, is that what your religion says? Because we're going to look this up after. You're making irrational claims. If you take a if you take a pig. No point. There's no point. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, brother. Of course you can. You said you would you would kill a lion if it was self-defense protecting you. Yeah, if they were going to kill a human, yeah. yeah. If I had to kill the dog to save a human or kill a lion to save a human, I'm going to do it, yeah. Would you kill a lion to save a sheep? Yes. If they were going to kill the sheep, yeah. You know, that's what lions do every day. Yeah, but I can't go out there and stop them, can I? Why not? I mean, would you go out and kill all the lions just to protect all the sheep? I'll put it this way. I don't know how to deal with that problem, but I think it's morally preferable if uh, carnivorous animals didn't exist in terms of ethics, because they eat animals alive, they shred them alive. It's horrible. And even God thinks that. Does he? Isaiah 11, 6. But what? The wolf will lay down with the lamb. When you mean the, in messianic days when the Messiah comes? No, even be, God thinks that. There'll be world peace. There might not be. No, it's true, there will be, but... So, so I'm not the only one. It's not crazy for me to think it if God thinks that. No, but at the moment there isn't. No, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I have a belief and I don't know how to can change that. But you're saying it's a bit crazy, or I don't know, like you maybe go in there, it's a bit mad to think that. But even God believes that. But why don't we go out and kill all the lions you can find? All, I mean, all the carnivorous animals. No, foxes. Because I can't. Poison foxes, that's quite easy. Put up poison bait to kill foxes around the area, because they're going to kill other animals, which they do every night. They kill pets, they kill birds, they kill mice. I think, uh, I honestly believe that there should be a way to contain carnivorous animals like foxes. I don't think we should go straight for poisoning them. I don't think that's a... I don't, I personally think of that. You can't change the nature. No, no, one second. I think we should separate them somehow from her, from like, I don't want to see lions shred antelope or foxes shred rabbits so alive. I'm, 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 I'm to separate them. And, and I mean, you're talking. What? And feed them what? Preferably vegan pet food. They, they can't survive. And carnivorous animals can't survive. Even cats need to eat meat. Oh no, you can get vegan cat food in that. No, no you can. Yeah. No, you can. Okay, you might, you, have you looked into vegan cat food? I have looked into it. As now, have you looked into it, this, the research? As far as I know, you can't. Have you looked into the research? They need taurine, they need nutrients found in meat, they don't need meat. But anyway, what, what's the problem with my position against uh, eating animals for us? Do you have a problem with that? Well, I, because I, we can I, talk about I, carnivorous animals, yeah, but... That's fine, but I, see you, I, I think your question's wrong, it's why not be vegan? But you're the one making a claim for people to be vegan, so it should be the other, other way around. No, 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 because I'm, I'm Why putting... Are you vegan? Because the burden's on the person, and the, just, the burden's on the person to justify uh, killing the animals. Why not? I don't think it's unjustified to kill the animals. Again, and that, why? Do you think it's... Well, do you think it's justified? Yeah, why not? Well, well justify it. In what way? Is it justified for me like to walk in? Morally justify it. What's the, what's the moral problem? Okay, the moral problem is animals are sentient, conscious beings, similar to us, not on the same level of consciousness but what happens to them matters to them they feel fear pain suffering they care for their young if it's wrong to torture them because they experience that suffering then it's also wrong to murder them and i don't think we we need to to do it we don't need to as a we don't need it for health i don't think it's about needing you know, well, let's start by actually is it whether it's morally wrong or not okay what, why is it morally wrong to kill someone murder a, a person a human being because that you're taking away their experience and they're, that they're an individual they're a subject of their, their experience and uh, they deserve to have sovereignty over their own experience and we don't deserve to take that from other people. And then what about abortion? Are you then pro-life? Uh, yes, after a certain level of sentience. Yeah, like non-trivial sentience. Why, why would you need sentience? I mean, there's still, it, it's still a human being that's going to grow. In fact, even from day one, but certainly you could argue from heartbeat where there's actually a human heart beating there. No, well, I only, I only care about the human in, as much as it turns into a human and... and, and I only care about the, the fetus. But the animal's not a human and you still care about it, so... No, no, sorry. It's human. I only care about the being at the point it becomes sentient, conscious, having an experience. Like, because otherwise, uh, I mean, I don't advocate for keeping people on uh, life support for 20 years. I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you the way I see it. The way okay. I see it is the, the, the two routes you can go down when uh, defining ethics and moralism. Either, which I believe actually, because I'm religious too, but I'm not going to argue from that position because you're obviously not a religious too, so there's no point in Oh, I'd, I'd just say Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 11, 6 and the Garden of Eden. Do you have the Garden of Eden? Hang on, hang on. Yeah. So, 
morals and ethics in general, my personal position is there's absolute morality. It comes from God. And if God decides that this is okay, if God says you can go out and eat animals, then that's fine with me. I defer to oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. I'm not going to argue because if you don't believe in God or you don't believe in the Torah or or my beliefs, then... Well, I, I care about your beliefs. I don't care about other people's okay, beliefs because I'm talking to you, you know what I mean? I would argue as a general uh, a society that morality or, or our laws come from a social contract, which is basically... But some people I'm can't... Gonna, resi some, I know what a social contract well, is. I'm not going to punch you some, if you don't punch me. No, no, some, some people can't... And some people and humans can't reciprocate a social contract. I, I think we, we've extended this to the whole species, the whole human species, because we're part of the species that is capable of the, of the social contract, even though there are specific individuals there that can't reciprocate a social that, that contract. Not, that, exactly, that are mentally deficient. Yeah, but do you think that's logical? I think it's logical. Why? I think it's logical. Why do we get protection Why? and other species who experience the world don't? Because they don't care about us. They, they, there's no, they're Maybe not... don't care about me. Well, he's going to, he's going to grow Someone up. Someone with a part, mental handicap doesn't care about he's, me. He's part of the group. It doesn't matter. And, and in fact, Why does that matter? And in fact, I would argue... Um, Why does killing... it matter if they're part of the group? Why does, well, it matter? Why does that matter in ethics? Well, two things. Uh, two things. Yeah. First of all, we are guided a lot by our, the ones we feel affinity to and our group, uh, which I think we can extend to all of humanity, are the ones we feel affinity to. But also, when you kill... Wait a second. So one second, feel, one second. We feel uh, affinity... Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's a, okay, there's two things here. So yeah. affinity to our, each other is a, is a moral justifier. Yeah? I, I, I think it's not just... If we feel affinity to each other, it's not, then... It's not, it's not the basis. But it's not the basis, but I think it, it certainly informs our morals. If I would go and kill a um, mentally completely deficient, like human, someone... Yeah, no. A human being who's got no idea, like completely doesn't know anything... Well, not know anything. Let's just but, say they know about would, as much as they can. Hang on. I would be hurting their, their family, okay. their parents, okay, cool. their brothers, sisters, This is two things. I don't want to get to... You're so, adding lots of stuff so, on. So I'm going to interrupt. I have to interrupt. One sec. One sec. Yeah. I have to interrupt because we're okay. going to get... Sure. You're going to be on a monologue and we're not going to address it. You're saying that... Uh, Ethics are dictated by affinity, and I think you're pushed off of that. I don't think. No, I, I, th I think they're. Because I could just not that. share an affinity to some humans, yeah. and and then you think it would be justified to kill them. No, I. Right. Uh, but coupled with that, you said uh, people with a severe uh, disability who don't know much. But I would say no, they well, have to. They babies, have to. I mean, no, no, no. But babies will grow. So yeah. let's just say uh, someone with a severe. This is called the argument from marginal cases, by the way. Someone with a severe mental handicap. Let's say they're about the level of of a cow, right? You're saying the only reason it is wrong to kill them, and I know this, just forgive me if this is not the, is because of their family, yeah? Because well, it harms their family. So it, Mostly, I would say if we're defining ethics as a, a morals, which is really absent of a supreme um, um, well, moral we, authority. We're having a secular discussion. Yeah, yes, we can have a, yeah. a religious so one too. But so absent of a, of a supreme, absent of, of absolute morality, I think the only morality or, or ethics that matter is um, um, the, the social contract, contract. No, one second, one second. No, 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 because you said and social contract, so you're saying that they've broken... Through. So I've somehow why, I've broken a social contract between... Why are they part of the social contract and, and others okay. are not? That's so, really the question. So one second. If this person with a mental handicap um, has no family, and let's just say they are on a separate island, away from civilization, they can't reciprocate a social contract. Is it then okay to kill that being? I would say from a secular perspective, certainly um, of a far lesser evil than killing... I don't ask uh, if it's a lesser evil. I ask, is it okay to do to, for a sandwich like we do to cows for well, burgers? But the problem is it's hard for me to, to really separate my beliefs from, from my personal beliefs. Well, you are, well, you've done it up until this point till it I got say, tough. But, but yes, yes, well, probably taking to the logical conclusion. It's okay to kill them beings? Just a yes or no is fine. Probably yes. Okay, so I can go to this, this civilization here myself. I can actually start breeding them, plenty of them, just like we do to animals here, just exactly the same way, factory farms, uh, mass killing. I can do that to those uh, mentally uh, disabled human beings on this separate civilization who can't form a social contract, who have no family. I can do that. I, I don't think it's actually possible. So you, you said no, 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 no. That's, it's, it's not. I'm not asking if it's possible. It is, it is possible. It's a problem. It's logically it, possible. You're setting up a hypothetical that cannot exist. Oh, no, no, you no, cannot no, breed no, no, them no, no. without human beings, you without need people. To, you and, and that is... That, and, 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 and by the way, you I cannot haven't... have a philosophical discussion without creating hypotheticals because we can't act in the real world right now. I want to find well, no, out where you're. I, I, I want to find where you. No, no, no. You said it's okay to kill one. So is it okay to kill 
a I'd, billion? I'd, I'd, well, I'd, even, even your hypothetical, when you're asking this person who is somehow living by himself on the desert island and yet surviving um, um, without any family, um, that is again a hypothetical that doesn't exist. I would say, I'm trying I would to say, you need hypothetical. I would say, do you know, do you I know mean, how the to... Really, why if, the, why if the, an, an alliance was to come right down? Well, it wouldn't, so why... We we, did it. why yeah. You asked me a hypothetical actually, actually was, when uh, we started this conversation. I was going and now, no, one second, yes. one second. You said if a lion did this, would you stop them? Yeah. Well, actually, no. no my no, question was not hypothetical. Second, my question was what lions do every day. And then you that asked me another animals. One. You said, would you do this out in nature, kill all of these beings? Like, blah, blah, blah. You, you asked. You asked me to imagine. And that wasn't hypothetical. That, that is actually reality. Okay. I was, I was, I was, because you said before that you would kill an animal, a lion, to save a human. So no, would, would I, you, I think that that shows that you understand that humans it, it, have well, some kind I, of. I think it is a hypothetical. Because you're saying, would you, kill a lion, would you kill a hot lion in this situation? Okay, I think well, it's, then I brought, it's not here in reality. Well, I brought it to reality of foxes. You're, you're saying foxes, it's, Well, I gave you a, 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 um, a practical okay. example. Go well, poison foxes you a, I can give you a to practical save example. A, to save so a, a practical example. Uh, okay. Mentally handicapped uh, homeless person wandering the streets has no family and they're in isolation. That happens a lot. They, they wandered into the bush. No one will know they're gone. Is it okay for me to kill him and eat them? Again, um... um... I'd, I'd still, I'd still... They can't reciprocate a social contract, they have no family and they're isolated, but they're in the bush somewhere. That's cool. From a secular perspective... Um, in your moral view, without there being a supreme being? My personal perspective, no. But actually, probably yes. No, um, no, from no. Your so that's hilarious and... Well, that's hilarious. not why. That, that's the thing. To, that's an insane position, dude. I mean... It, Come on, be, why, be honest why? with me. Because it's an insane position, because murdering uh, someone it, who is experiencing the world is murder. Is he experiencing, wrong. though? Yeah, uh, of course they are. They're experienced to the level of a cow. What do you call that experience? Well, yeah. then... Um, Anyways, why don't we talk I'd, about your actual yes. beliefs? Well, I say, my, my beliefs, I believe God created animals for our use. Okay. Um, in the it, way that they we're being used now? Do you live in the UK? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, so, eat, I eat meat, you eat chicken? I eat, you eat chicken, cows? beef. Okay. Okay. Not, not cool. bacon, but... It, Let's uh, stick yeah. with chickens. All right? So here in the UK, these chickens have been raised in, like, sheds. Yeah. They go four times faster than it did in 1950, so they grow really fast. Yeah. And then uh, they take these chickens, they sometimes too big to support their own body weight, they can, their life is basically inherent suffering, right? Um, not really. Not really? Because, no, because you uh, anthropomorphize that, you're, you're, you're projecting the way you would feel if you would be in that position. The thing is, a human being in prison, well, they do suffer. A, a human, not really. A human being in prison isn't so much about physical suffering, it's about mental suffering. Chickens are not No, I mean, that. I'm talking about physical pain and a certain but, amount of mental anguish. But even though they don't, they don't have mental anguish, not capable of mental anguish. Oh, really? Yeah. Chicken uh, or, or any animals. So there's, there's no I, evidence I, that... I, I, that I, I don't need evidence. I think for just, yeah. just by seeing them... Okay. That, so you're um, just going off faith that they don't feel anything? I, no, no, it's, it's more than faith. I, I think it's... One second. Yeah. If animals don't feel anything, why, in, why is there kosher guidelines? I don't know. You can't cause pain to animals, yeah? So your religion even believes oh, you can hang, cause pain hang to on, animals. Hang on, hang on. We're talking, I, I, I disagree that we should be able to cause that One pain. second. Yeah. How can you cause pain to a chicken if they don't experience anguish and suffering and all these things? It's about the person, not about... And in fact, no, no, I'd, no, I'd no, argue no, this... No, 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 no. It is. So One second. You, you, I, so is it kosher to cause an animal suffering and then... Kosher, does, kosher doesn't come into it. There are specific uh, slaughter, laws of how to slaughter. And it's not just good to do with animal suffering. We're allowed to slaughter the animal. So, is there, are there guidelines for how to treat animals in the Torah? In, in a, what is there, it? There is a general. There's okay. a general. Am I allowed to be cruel to an animal? No. So that is not about the animal, at all. Oh, really? It's about. It's not person. because the animal can experience no. cruelty. So, how can no. you possibly be cruel to an animal that can't experience cruelty? Because it's not about the animal. It's about the person. So, in fact, I would second, argue. How is I'd it argue cruel if they can't experience? Society. So, one second. Do chickens have a brain? Not really. Not not a, a brain that they're not complex emotions. They have they have basic um, instincts, but not not complex emotions. Do they have a brain? I asked. But yeah, of course they have a brain. Do they have a functioning nervous system? Yes. Do they feel pain? Yes. But the chickens in factory farms don't experience suffering. No. I, I, because, Sorry, mate. That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They might experience some pain. Well, some what physical is, pain. What is physical pain? Depends. Uh, what the kind of chickens uh, exist, uh, the kinds of chickens experience, isn't isn't any made Come physical on, bro. pain. Come most on, pain, no, because you, you, you you're use, taking the piss now. It's not. It's because most pain is mental, not not physical. 
No, no, I'm not talking about most pain. No, but I'm talking is... about can ex chickens experience pain and suffering, and you're saying no. Suffering is, is emotional. Suffering is not physical. So you don't... Unless it's, uh, 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 so... unless it's uh, something you like really, so, really out, one to the, second. out to the norm. But just yeah. for chickens to have a small place to live, they so, don't suffer from So that. basically... You would suffer because you have a mental... So, so does your religion teach you that animals don't suffer? My religion doesn't teach me anything about animals. Your religion, you just told me it teaches you not to be cruel. Not to be cruel, but that's about How the How can person. you be cruel to an animal? Again, that's... Uh, no, so, but, well, no, it's not, dude. How can you possibly be cruel to an animal if they can't experience suffering? Because if you want to inflict pain on something, and that's the... Okay, uh, let's, let, let, let's try to explain. So when they experience Physical. pain, they don't experience suffering along with it? No. There's not, it's not the same thing. What is it? What's Suff pain? The main part of suffering is emotional. It's not that it's not from the physical. And, and, and animals don't have emotions. No, not in that way. A what chicken, do you mean in that way? They don't when a chicken they, is raised have, in a small place, he doesn't realize there's this whole world outside. It's not the same as a human being in prison, that he's they got the mental anguish of wanting to be free. Chickens don't want to be free. They've got no capacity. They've got no understanding. They've got no knowledge of freedom. They don't know about that. You couldn't even explain it. Even if a chicken was free and then you later caged it, it still You're doesn't talking have about it. I never talk about the idea or, 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 or of, of cows, knowing what anything. it's... I never, no, no, cows and pigs and so, like... Uh, no, they don't have this concept. If you take a free pig and put him in a cage, they have a concept of what it's like to be free. So don't. No, they I don't mean, have this concept. Yeah, they do. I mean, you're making what are you about? irrational if you, claims. If you, take a, if you take a pig and you feed If you it, take a dog you, and you let them run around and do whatever they want, and then you put them in a cage, do you don't think they suffer and want to escape the cage? No. Depends how you treat them. I've got animals. I've Come got on, animals. brother. I so raise, you're saying it's not animals. bad. To, so I've caging animals, hens is not bad? I've got animals and I can open the cage and they will not escape because they've got their food Because they've there. been in there the whole time, dude. So they've, they've got, got uh, no, Stockholm take, Syndrome. I've, they don't know to leave. No, I actually have got goats. So second, who, I have no. goats who are raised in a field, a big field, so and now take... they're living in a much smaller place. Not okay. a tiny, they've got this place is... to run about, but they're happy there. They this get their fun. needs met. And uh, I open so the door, I they will I not run it, out. If I take a free animal from the wild, yeah. like an elephant, and I put them in a small cage, they do not suffer because of that, yeah? Depends how small. No, 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 no. Small as, they can't turn around. If they then they suffer physically. So animals can suffer physically? Suffering is, is emotional. Suffering is not physical. So, so that's to, suffering? To a degree, yes. Okay. And ch can chickens suffer physically to All a degree? All animals can suffer physically to a degree. They can okay, so now pain. they can suffer? No, no, we, we've established they experience pain. But they don't suffer but mentally, you don't no, think? No, no. Okay, and do you have evidence that I they don't, don't suffer? I, I don't have, so why I don't they have, have evidence, okay. but I think, the, I think the evidence there in front of so us... So where does the, the pain... The where animals, do they receive the pain? That's all. Where do they, where do they receive the there's pain? There's a difference between physical pain and mental pain. So they pain. feel it here in their leg, and they don't have a brain that processes that pain? No, the, all they've got is an instinct to pull away from the one pain. One second, one second. They're no, like a plant then. So do, 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 do animals experience pain, uh, the reaction of pain in their brain? Obviously. Okay. Uh, all, so they pain, do all pain is experienced so suffer, in the brain, so, okay. but it's an instinct. It's okay. like a it, it, you touch something hot, you pull away. That's an instinct. And if they don't pull away, they what do. happens? They do. They do pull no, away. No, no, because no, 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 one second. In a factory farm, they're born into suffering because they're they're grown too big. They can't support their body weight. They lie on the farm. They often die on the farm floor. They don't not, experience. Not that, no, they often, they hundred percent do. Not that often you that don't know what you're talking about. Millions die on the floor. There's statistics for this. It's about four percent death rate in factory farm sheds. I'm an investigator as well, I'm not just a street debater. Millions die on the floor. Does not, but okay. When you talk about 1.1 billion chickens every year, it's quite a lot, it's like 30, yeah. 40 million or yeah. something like that. So those ones that die and suffer and die on the floor, they're not experiencing any mental suffering. Therefore, no. it's okay. No, yes. So it's, it's okay to do to them? Yes. Okay. Wow. It's bad to, to cause pain to animals, and I'd say even in a secular world, because that makes you a bad person. So, is causing it's physical, about the one person. second, is causing physical pain cruelty? Gratuitous pain, yes. No, is no, causing no, no. animals physical pain no, no, cruelty? No, no, it's not a yes or no, it's I'm adding a word, gratuitous pain. It's when you're causing pain just for the sake of causing pain. Okay, and if I'm causing if pain, you, if I'm causing them needless... Animal testing, for medical reasons, okay. go ahead. So, in the context of food animals, Eat them. Go ahead. So, can I be cruel? No. To animals for food? The cruelty is the cruelty is not part of what you need to eat them. It is an inherent part of factory farming. It's inherent. It's in its nature. You can't avoid it. Is it okay 
to be cruel it to those birds okay, it, in order to eat them in your is, religion. It is okay to raise them in a factory farm setting because the cruelty is done with a purpose. You're not being cruel for the sake of being cruel. You're being cruel for okay. purpose to be able to eat so them, in to your raise religion, them. in your religion, it's okay to be cruel to animals for food? Uh, no, it's not cruel. Is that I, what your religion I, no, says? Because we're, we're going to look this up no, after. I disagree that that's cruel. No, 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 one second. Causing animals physical pain when we don't need to eat them. To, we don't need it for our health. We don't need it to no, survive. But, most people agree it's wrong to be cruel to animals, even for food. They don't. Most people eat chicken. No, no. They believe it's wrong to be cruel, but they can, they conduct a behaviour that is in conflict with their beliefs. No, it's, 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 it's the they got the balls to tell you. No, I don't really care about the chickens. I'm still going to eat chickens. Some people have the balls. Some people uh, actually yeah. do care about chickens, but they eat it, but right? They still eat it. So you said it's not cruel. Yes. So it's not even cruel. So basically, no. I can take, um, let's say, cows. I can boil them alive with no stunning, no kosher slaughter. I can just torture them and boil them just to eat them if I'm going to eat that soon. Why would you need to do that? Why do you even need kosher slaughter if cruelty doesn't matter in the context of food? Why does kosher slaughter exist? It's boiling alive is, is an act of cruelty. To eat them? It's no. in the context of food? Because the cruelty is done with a purpose. You're not being cruel for the sake of being cruel. You're being cruel for okay. purpose to be able to eat so them. No, it doesn't. I didn't say in the context of food. Yes, it's did. for the purpose. <laughs> no, the purpose. Uh, so the that's purpose, why I say, let, 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 keep, the, stick with, stick the with my words. Is, the purpose I, is to I, I, eat them. But you don't need the, the cruelty part. You don't need the cruelty part to eat them. You can no, do that. You, you said can... it's not cruelty in the context of food. I gave, is... you, a, I gave yeah, you an okay. example, and that is. I gave you an let example. Me, let me try again. When you, when it, to use an animal for a purpose isn't in, in itself cruel. I now, never if said you do that. that uh, no, hang on. If That's you do that, said, if you do that in a way that doesn't cause unnecessary suffering, that is not a problem. What do you mean it by unnecessary? Well, is it necessary it, to eat me? Unnecessary suffering is it necessary to eat me? Unnecessary suffering is to cause them extra suffering that you can extra? achieve the same purpose. Well, what is a factory farm? You can achieve the same purpose. What is a factory farm? That's extra, extra suffering. You cannot suffering. achieve that purpose. You cannot supply meat, chicken to the masses we don't need without to factory meat. farming. You're acting like we need to. Eating meat isn't a problem. Let, let's start. Let, let, let's go through step by step. Yeah. Eating meat, no problem. So long as animals weren't involved. No, no, eating meat, and the way I see it, yeah, the, eating meat, no problem. Killing the animals to eat meat in itself, again, no problem. Now, I don't call that murder, because murder is illegal killing. It's not illegal, so again, no problem. But you should achieve this aim, this goal of killing the animal in order to Why eat the I meat. I care about a hypothetical in a way, situation? In, uh, that's a, that's, that's a, you don't get your meat. You get your meat from factory farms like everyone that, else. You should achieve that in a way that, that, that minimizes cruelty as much as possible. Why do you care about cruelty? It's not cruelty in the Be context of food, you told me. Again, why do I care about cruelty? You said it's not because cruel if it's done in the context of food. In your religion, it's okay to be cruel to animals for food. I know, it's not cruel. Yes. So why would you care no, about no, minimizing no, no, it's it? a context, I said, I said purpose. I, I, but because... it's not cruelty in the purpose of food. So why do you care about minimizing it if it's not cruelty? Because when a person has a way of getting his, his goals in a way that is not wantonly cruel, gratuitously cruel, and no, yet, no, 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 no. He, and yet you know he is gratuitously cruel. I think you believe cruel. cruelty is wrong in the context of food, which no. is why you want to minimize it. No, I don't. So Again, if you don't so think the, cruelty is wrong? Of course cruelty is wrong. So why would but, we, but raising okay. animals isn't cruel. That's, that's so my why point. Did, what, so, so if, you don't even think, if you don't think cruelty to animals is wrong? No, I think it's wrong, but raising cruelty. raising chickens in a factory setting where they, where they experience is pain not cruel. and suffering yes, is not cruel. Is not cruel. No. Even though the chicken experiences pain. I think the definition of cruelty is, is inflicting pain for the sake of inflicting pain, where there's nothing gained. That's your definition of yes. cruelty. Animal yes. cruelty can happen in a farm. Happens all the time. In what way? In what way? Yes. I just explained to you what happens to chickens. Uh, no, I, I don't uh, think We that's can talk cruel. about mutilations that happen in the dairy I industry. Disagree. I disagree. We can talk about animals having uh, being stolen from their mothers in the dairy industry, calling that's their not, mother. I don't they think cause, that's cruel. No, they get maternal bonds with their child, and they get trauma from their, they've been taken. They get mutilated. They get castrated Again, without anesthetic. I don't think that's cruel. They get mastitis. They get lameness in the dairy industry. They, they, in the pork industry, I, they get killed in gas chambers, which causes them suffering because it's CO2 gas. It causes them uh, eyes burning, nose burning, all this stuff. Um, where, where egg industry, they're pushing out egg after egg after egg every day. They lose calcium. They suffer on the. They do it anyway. Not God's created animals, didn't? God's created that animals laid one egg every month. Well, now they've been selectively bred to grow to, to lay three hundred. They still do which, that. They're quite happy. Which causes them suffering. No, they're no, not it happy. Yes, not, no, they're, I will show some footage on the screen. I don't they're need footage. Happy. I've got chickens at home. Okay, but you've got backyard chickens. I'm talking yeah, about backyard uh, chickens where you buy when you're out here and you eat yeah. eggs. That's where it come from. So what? But they laid eggs every day. Don't tell me they wouldn't do it anyway. 
They lay eggs every day. Yeah, because they've been, selectively, they've been selectively yeah. bred to. So what? Yeah, because it causes them suffering. But it does cause suffering. My chickens it, are very happy. It does happy. In, a far, it's, in, yeah. a, in a farm context, it's it does. A, no, it's not the egg laying. It's, it's the, going back to your argument that having them a factor in, in a, the factory farming setting, the environment, the, the small enclosed environment. How the, do you know it doesn't cause them any pain to lay eggs every day? It doesn't seem like causing them pain. No, how do you know? Uh, they've thought, never, they've, never, uh, they've uh, never said what? anything. Huh? They, never, they never told me. So they don't explain me. it to you? They never told me. So therefore me. they can't experience pain if they don't say it to you? Yeah, I don't think it does. It, it doesn't seem to be clear. Yeah. I mean, how, how do you, you know? You don't even think it's cruel for animals to I die mean, on their faces in a factory farm? No. They're just so why lying. would you care about a backyard egg? I don't. But anyway. I, I don't raise chickens for <clears throat> cruelty. Anyways. I just so, enjoy so raising. I think we should, uh, we should finish this off. Not a problem. Yeah, we should finish it off because you don't think cruelty is wrong in the context of food? No, I don't think it's cruel. You don't, you don't even... Okay. You don't think it's cruel? I, the, factory I, farms are not cruel? No, I okay. don't think factory farms are cruel. Okay. Again, factory farms in itself are not cruel. Okay. There's no inherent cruelty in raising animals in captivity okay. or even in small conditions. Okay. But so, you should not be cruel that when you don't gain anything from the cruelty. Well, wait, wait, if it's not cruel, it shouldn't matter what cruelty I do inside that farm if it's just it not is. cruel. It is. Because right. when you, I, I define, You've got a anim, I know, I You're define, it's a logical no it's not, it's because I define animal cruelty as wanton or gratuitous, um, causing suffering gratuitously or wantonly okay, so without any gain. Of, you're, 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 you, so you, if you, I, you I ask you, you, one you, second. You, you can animal test if it's gonna, if it's gonna help people, even the causing okay, tumors yeah, in yeah, mice, yeah. I don't care. So it's boiling dogs people. in Yulin, when they boil dogs alive in Yulin, right, at Dog Meat Festival, they believe it, get, it makes the meat taste better and it's got medicinal qualities. Is that good? Is that fine? Does it taste better? Is that, is that, I don't know. Is does that it, cruel? Maybe. Does it taste is it, better? No, I ask you, is that cruel? Because it's no done idea. for a purpose. I have no idea. I'd be, uh, does I it ask taste you better? if it's cruel, that's all. It would appear cruel to me. Okay, but why? It's done for a purpose. True, but um, again, I'm, I'm And going, they're going to eat them. I'm, I'm, they're not going to waste. The dog suffers and screams and yelps, but they're boiling them alive for food. It's not cruel. I'm, I'm going from my background where we, we are taught to kill an animal first without boiling it because that just causes extra suffering that they They can't that, suffer, they can't experience mental suffering, remember? No, they experience physical suffering. No, but they can't experience, dogs don't have brains either, they, can, they don't have emotions. No, they, you don't need emotions to Do to dogs cause, have emotions? Not, not complex emotions. No, I never though. asked, I never said, you add something on and then you ask, I said, do dogs have emotions? Well, which kind? Do they feel happy, well, you say someone's sad, emotional. Uh, yeah, depressed? Yeah. Do they, no. they don't feel depressed? Dogs no. don't feel depressed? No. Wow, okay, we're done here, <laughs> this is hilarious. It's not an area, it's dogs it is really depressed. It's, it's hilarious. You don't think a dog gets sad? Depressed? No, not really. Okay. They've got instincts. Huh? No <laughs> point. There's They've no point. Instincts. If you can't agree that if you can't agree that a dog gets depressed or has emotions, there's no, no point. We're no we're anthropomorphized. You want to be interviewed?